would you dare to get to the most mysterious and dangerous object in the universe? Imagine drifting through space when something in the distance catches your eye. A dark, perfectly round void surrounded by twisted, glowing starlight. A black hole. What would you see as you got closer? What would you feel in your body? Would you hear anything at all in the silent vacuum of space? And the biggest question, would you die instantly? Or would you have a few moments to witness the most extreme environment in existence? Today, you're about to find out. We're going to follow you step by step as you approach, enter, and fall toward the very heart of a black hole. Every second counts, and nothing you've ever experienced could prepare you for what's coming. Let's begin your final journey. Before you get too close, you need to know what you're dealing with. A black hole isn't just empty space. It's the remains of a massive star, one that burned through its fuel, collapsed under its own gravity, and crushed itself into a single point. A singularity. The mass of millions, sometimes billions, of Earths, crammed into a sphere the size of a city. Its gravity is so powerful that nothing, not even light, can escape once it gets too close. That invisible boundary is called the event horizon. Cross it, and you're gone. Forever. Albert Einstein predicted them in his theory of relativity. Stephen Hawking showed us that they might even leak tiny amounts of radiation over billions of years. But no one, not scientists, not astronauts, not you, has ever been inside one and come back to tell the tale. And yet, you're still getting closer. From far away, a black hole doesn't look like much. Just a patch of darkness where stars should be. But as you drift toward it, the view changes. Light from distant stars bends and twists around its edges. You see the same star in multiple places at once, its light curved by the intense gravitational field. This strange bending of light is called gravitational lensing. The dark center in front of you is perfect and absolute. Not black, like the space between stars, but deeper. A place where no light escapes at all. Around it, a ring of brilliant light swirls, made from superheated gas and dust spiraling in. Your sense of time starts to shift. From your perspective, everything feels normal. But to someone far away, your clock is ticking slower. They'd watch you move in slow motion. That's time dilation at work, the warping of time itself by gravity. The event horizon is not a wall. There's no sudden bump, no physical jolt. You pass it without even feeling it. But the laws of reality have shifted. Inside this invisible boundary, space and time trade roles. Moving forward in space now feels as inevitable as moving forward in time. And there is no going back. From your perspective, you continue to fall normally. The blackness ahead doesn't change. But to anyone watching from outside, something strange happens. You slow down, moving less and less with each moment, until you seem frozen in place. Your image grows dimmer and redder, stretched by the black hole's gravity until you vanish completely. For you, though, everything is still happening. Behind you, light struggles to keep up. In front of you, only darkness. You can still hear the faint sound of your breath inside your helmet, the soft thud of your heart. They are the last familiar things you will ever sense. Now gravity begins to work on your body in a way nothing else in the universe can match. Gravity near a black hole doesn't pull evenly. The closer part of you feels more force than the farther part. If you're falling feet first, your legs are being tugged harder than your head. Near Earth, that difference is too small to notice. Here, it's life-ending. 
If you're unlucky enough to be falling into a smaller, stellar-mass black hole, the kind with the mass of 20 suns packed into a sphere just 15 kilometers wide, the stretching begins outside the event horizon. In less than a second, your body is torn apart, atoms ripped away before you even cross the boundary. Death is instant. But if you've chosen a supermassive black hole, millions of times heavier than the sun, the gradient of gravity is gentler at the horizon. You actually make it inside in one piece. Inside, though, the stretching starts. Slowly at first, then with unbearable force. You're pulled longer and thinner, like spaghetti. Scientists actually call this process spaghettification. Your organs elongate, your skeleton strains, and eventually your body tears apart molecule by molecule. Your vision narrows to a tunnel. You can no longer move your limbs in any meaningful way. Pain fades as your brain cells are disrupted. The final flashes of thought race through your mind. There's no stopping now. The singularity is pulling you in. The singularity waits at the center of the black hole, a point with infinite density and zero volume where the rules of physics as we know them collapse. Stephen Hawking believed that information the fundamental pattern of your body, might not be lost, but encoded in some way on the black hole's event horizon. Whether that means some part of you survives is impossible to know. For you, there's no more seeing, feeling, or hearing. Only the end. Far away, someone is watching your fall. To them, you never reach the horizon. You simply slow, freeze, and fade. The light from your suit turns red, then infrared, then invisible. Time outside the black hole keeps moving, but for you, it's over. Your image remains fixed in place until it disappears completely, erased by the glow of the black hole's accretion disk. From their perspective, you've become part of the black hole without ever crossing into it. From yours, you crossed long ago. Two versions of the same event, both correct, in their own frame of reference. And the black hole, unchanged, continues its endless pull on the universe around it. So, would you die instantly in a black hole? If it's small, yes, long before you reach the event horizon. But if it's supermassive, you might survive for a few moments inside, enough to witness sights no human has ever seen before the black hole tears you apart. Either way, there's no escape. The black hole is a one-way journey into the most extreme environment in existence. And yet, for all our fear, black holes might be gateways to something bigger, perhaps even other universes. If that's true, then falling in might not be the end, but the start of something we can't yet imagine. Would you take that chance, knowing you'd never return? Because out there, somewhere, is another what-if waiting for you.